They will make a Dollar Tree tag sign. Keep watching. We'll start with some doilies. They're paper and you get a big pack from Dollar Tree. These signs also came from Dollar Tree. There are two different kinds and I will be doing two different signs but only one in this video so be sure you subscribe so you can see the next one. We're going to start by saying that I was very distracted this day and I could have removed the tag and the hanger at the same time but my children were in the room running them up so I did it in two different steps but you know not a big deal right? Okay so we're going to take our doilies out. These are our paper doilies. They're the circular ones, not the hearts, but you use whatever you like. On this particular one, I wanted to use two different sizes of the circular doilies. Be sure that when you take those apart that you really get your layers undone because they will stick together and it will look like one piece and when you glue it there will be a mess. So just be sure that you have one layer. Decide where you want to put it. Look at this glue stick. I don't know what happened with this. I've always used Jot and I've never had this kind of a mess but look here I'm gonna fix it. Now is that the epitome of a crafting mama right there? I'm making it work. That's right, it'll wash off people. All right, so we just rub that around on there and I'm just going to pat that down. It is overhanging the edge and that's the way I like it. That is done intentionally. Don't worry if you get a little bit that sticks out. If a very little bit of it will dry and you won't be that noticeable, but you just don't want to cover the entire surface with it. And go back under the edges that still need to be stuck down and just run that around in there and gently pat it. You don't want to necessarily drag it. You might uh, tear those little delicate edges there. This was a big pack. I, I think there were 30 in there. I think I might have already said that. But 30 in there and so this is going to be good for lots of projects. I have another video where I did a Christmas sign and I did it with antique paper doilies and that's very very pretty. I'll try to put a link for you or put it in the cards so that you can watch that video if you'd like. Now I'm going to take my sanding block which also came from Dollar Tree and just gently sand down and away from the edge. That's going to make a very clean edge and make it look like it was almost painted on there. Nice and smooth. I'm going to do this to all of them. If you don't have a sanding block, you could always cut this, flip it over, and use a rotary blade. I have not found one at my Dollar Tree yet. I am on the lookout. All right, so we're going to use these clings. You can put them on windows or doors, and we're going to place these down on this for decoration. Now, Obviously this is not going to stick to a paper surface on its own, but we have a solution for that, the glue stick. So I'm just going to take my little protective sheet here, this is actually a cutting board from Dollar Tree, and turn that upside down and then just start covering the entire surface with that glue stick. And then place it down and you're all good to go. They have a lot of really pretty decorative window clings, all kinds of designs and styles. So if this isn't your thing, and glitter's really not my thing, but you know, it's Valentine's Day, so romance is in the air. We're going to do a little glitter. And the bigger heart will go in the big one here. And then I'm going to take the little, the little section that has the writing on it, and we're going to put that in the bottom corner. I haven't had a problem with these bubbling or making a mess. They really lay down nice and flat and it's uh, they're easy to kind of move around. If you don't get it in the right spot at, the, at first, you can kind of slot it just a little bit. So just go back under and glue down the rest of your edges that need to be fixed in position. 
So here's a simple bow. This is just a shoestring bow if you want to do something like that. But I wanted to be extra today. So I am going to make a beaded hanger. I'm going to use this piece of tape, wrap it around the end of my jute twine, which came from Dollar Tree. It came in the automotive section, I do believe. So you get a big spool of that. Then I'm going to take some of these Christmas beads that I had on my tree. I had several sections and I have just cut it and I'm going to repurpose it for this. So at first I was going to do just the red beads and it occurred to me, I think I have some pearl beads from Dollar Tree that will work that are the same size. And look at that. Same size and I think it looks really pretty together. So we have a red wood bead and a pearl bead and I'm just alternating. If you would like to count those, feel free to do that. I did not count those for you. I apologize. Use as many as you want to make your hanger as long as you would like. This is very relaxing. White and red. White and red. If you didn't see it in my past video, my husband and I both ended up getting COVID and it totally messed up my video recording schedule and the way I planned on doing videos. Oh, so forgive me for that, but I'm back on track. Okay, so we're going to tie a knot and it needs to be a knot that is thick enough that your bead will not slide back down the jute. So that's what I'm doing right now, tying a double knot there, move my things out of the way and do the same thing in the other end. There's a little slack in it and I am totally okay with that. See there? There we go. This is how long my hanger will be. Now this is the back side and I'm going to glue it down with some hot glue and a little piece of fabric that I had left over. It came from a Dollar Tree sign that I have taken apart. Makes a good little band-aid for my glue. And just put one on each side. And then of course you'll wanna trim that off if there's anything that is overhanging. And I love that. Oh my goodness, do you like that? Would you have just used pearls or just used the red or do you like the alternated ones? Cause I really like them alternating like that. Okay, so we're gonna take a bunch of different types of ribbon that will match. So I've got red, polka dot, red, check. I have pink check. I have solid pink. I have a, a thin metallic uh, check, a solid, a solid this, a solid that. A, you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to make just a little, I'm going to use bits and ends of rolls. Um, I think I finally finished off two rolls of ribbon that I had. And there's some sheer ribbon in there as well. You're just going to randomly put these down. It doesn't have to be any particular order. You could have just grabbed the entire stack off the table if you wanted to, but I wanted to kind of play with it just a little bit. So you just put them all on here, make your little stack. It's usually best to have bigger ribbons in the back, smaller ones toward the front, because the small ones will kind of get lost in all of that bulk. And then we're just going to Push them together in the center and take a piece of strong jute and give it a good double knot in the center. Double knot, three knots, whatever you do, but it needs to be more than one or you will pull it loose. So now what I'm doing is just pulling my ribbons down so that I have them fairly equal on both sides as far as length goes. And I'm going to be dovetailing my ends. You see there I flipped that red one upside down accidentally. That's okay, because there's red on here, so that is okay. So you're gonna do this all the way around both sides on the thicker ribbons. I didn't bother doing this on the thin ribbons. You probably couldn't have seen it anyway. You wouldn't have noticed it. If you have anything that you notice that is standing out, um, that it's too long, just trim it. And see here, I flipped that ribbon over a couple of times. <laughs> And then we're going to attach it up here 
it's going to cover up the original hole from the hanger. We're going to put it off to the side on the sign. And I love that. I'm going to call that a scrappy bow. How about that? I think I've called it that before, but I'm not sure of the name. But for today's purposes, we're going to call this a scrappy bow because I used some scraps in there. All right, now I'm going to trim off the back because I did not do it a moment ago. Flip it back over and give it just a few more finishing touches. So for the center, I'm going to use a felt sticker that's a little heart that I got from Dollar Tree. I used a little bit of hot glue and stuck it on there. Then I decided that that pink heart would fit nicely in that white section of the red heart. And since I have pink above and in the bow, I thought this would carry that color down nicely. And it sticks on there really good. So what do you think? Do you like this tag? I love this tag. The one that I am doing next is quite a bit different. The style is, I'm using doilies, I will tell you that much, but the doilies are different and it is a different style. So stay tuned. Be sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed these Dollar Tree DIY videos. And if you love crafting on a budget, give me a thumbs up. I hope everybody is staying healthy and safe at home. And that you're spending some time doing something that brings you joy. Spending time with your family, spending time crafting, decorating your home. Thank you so much to my subscribers. And I will see you guys again really soon. Bye.